Hi, my name's Daddy, and I play Clash of Clans sometimes. So if you guys cast your minds back to the last Clash of Clans video, I said that I don't know how to do the bowlers, but I'm going to learn it, and I'm going to share with you guys. So here we are, actually. I've maxed out my bowlers, and I wanted to share with you how you can use bowlers as an effective three-star attack, even if you're using a uh, telephone, you know, a mobile phone where the screen's really small. Luckily, the bowlers are really big. So there are many kinds of, there, there are many variants on the bowler attack. Some people use um, two bowlers, bowler, bowlers in two different positions with heel behind the bowlers to go in, and then they, they, they use a archer, they use a super queen. Uh, some people use uh, the, uh, so yeah, some people are using the, uh, the poison spell against clan castle troops, but I am using 27 bowlers, I'm using five um, healers, I'm using uh, three wall breakers and one minion. And a minion just really just to fill up, you know, to, to get that last point or two if you can. Now, the, the point being, the way this strategy is working with me, I'm killing the middle um, walls so there's a free uh, direction for the bowlers to go. So there's, you know, there's a free path for them to go. It's all about, with bowlers, it's all about the pathing and getting that right so that, you know, when you when you get that kill squad into the centre, that you can uh, really be effective. Now, this is an easy one against the Town Hall 10. Uh, the next stack is going to be against Town Hall 11s, and I'm going to finish off with a super archer attack, which you guys are just going to love. So, um, essentially, what the stages are. So, first of all, with the way that I'm doing it, I'm using five healers on the Queen. Wait with the rage for when the queen gets under attack from several defenses and she you know, her, she goes into the red section. Um, so then pop the rage down where it can hit the healer. So the healers are uh, you know, giving her more uh, heal. And then use some wall breakers to pop, in, uh, pop open the, uh, the outside walls. Um, oh, and of course the earthquake. If you do the earthquake first, actually, it's uh, often a good idea. So do the earthquake to clear the, clear the path. And then it's all down to the, the pathing of the, the bowlers to get them and the uh, garden, uh, Grand Warden into the core. Now, when, the, when you're against the Town Hall 11, of course, you have the Eagle Artillery. So if you can take out the Eagle Artillery with the Queen, that's great. So, but uh, that's not always the case. So say, for example, this one here where it's not the case. So this is not a maxed out. Well, it's actually maxed out defence pretty much. It's got a couple of defences upgrading in the top right corner. So. But I'm going to take out the, the middle walls there. And of course, you know, the added effect of the earthquake is they take some damage off the uh, some buildings, which is great. So I pop the queen down, pop the healers down, and then I'm going to pop open the wall to the bottom there. There we go. So we get the it's essentially a direct path now. It's wide open base. Uh, and of course, there aren't many buildings on the outside for this, so the pathing shouldn't be a problem because all of the bowls are going to go into the, into the core, which is good. Now I'm sitting there waiting with the rage in case I need the rage. I put the GW down there for two reasons. One, to help the Queen, but also so the GW is fairly central. So when I need to, um, when I need to activate the GW, that it's going to have most coverage around the, the bowlers. So uh, Queen is just about dead. I'm going to try and pop the Queen and GW. Now, if you get the timing right, the GW um, is, protects against the first wave of the... Uh, of the Eagle Artillery, which is good. Just see how quickly that town all goes down. It's it's basically like a, a wave of of death if you get it right in the core. And of course you're raging as well. Once you get into the core, you want to rage them down. Pop that um, minion. I don't think we'll be needing the minion to get that um, final point there. Uh, to, to get the final star there. So take out the uh, Eagle Artillery. Now we've got a fairly, fairly easy job really to do now to mop up. The queen is getting. Um, I think the queen's going to probably die because she's under a lot of, a lot of pressure there. And I've popped her ability already, so there's really not enough heal to, to save her. The king's going to just uh, hopefully bash open that wall. Um, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I, I mean, I did. You probably you use a second. Uh, sorry, a jump spell. So there's three. I guess there's three ways of destroying uh, the walls here. So there's um, carrying the four. Um, earthquakes for the initial break of the main core then you've got three wall breakers to get the outside perimeter wall and then you've got a jump spell just so that the troops go through if you can cut those those bases in half you get most of the defenses people put in the middle um, and essentially what you're really trying to do is get to those 
um, those uh, sorry the uh, inferno towers as quickly as you possibly can and if possible while um, attack the inferno towers whilst the um, the GW's um, abilities on. I mean, the whole point there really is that the healers can't heal against the Infernos. So let's check out another um, relatively maxed out base actually, but the base layout is not great. And I made a mistake here of not um, popping the uh, the walls in the core open uh, soon enough. Um, so I'm going to have to do earthquake. Earthquake's a very precise thing, but you can, it's much better to do it right at the start. I just get into the habit of doing it first. So I'm going to pop my troops in. Uh, this was kind of pretty much when I was first learning how to do this attack, so there's, there's a few things here that I'd have changed. Getting that jump spell down down to the middle there earlier, um, getting the earthquakes done first, Those that's definitely what I would have changed. But the they got GW um, activation there was pretty okay actually because it, it got the most bowlers as possible um, as, uh, you know as it possibly could now I did practice with a clone spell so I thought well if we can pass the bowlers into one area maybe we could use a clone spell to you know to get more more, more bowlers but it really wasn't for me I mean I, maybe other people can do it better than I can but I really didn't find that it was um, giving much better much benefit over to rage and quite often it was really hard to get them to go in one direction so let's speed this up a little bit there we go so we've got a kill squad really and as the core has been destroyed it's really just about finishing up those last few um, defensive buildings around the side now they are quite slow the bowlers so um, it's basically they're basically like giants that can attack and they can attack uh, well can attack two buildings but uh, no I'm actually I think I'm efficiently I absolutely love the bowlers I was a bit sceptical at first and of course went up to Super C Supercell and we had a look at them and I couldn't really see how to use them well but uh, so check this out so a big moat base right at the middle now I do mess up a lot of things in this attack but let's get the the archer um, the uh, the queen walk done um, I'm thinking I can take out some of the health from the uh, legal artillery which I really didn't need to do uh, unfortunately my Wall breakers, my wall breakers survived. Yeah, my wall, wall breakers survived. There we go. Now, those big moat bases are designed so that you can end up on 80% with only one star, and they're clever. I'll, I'll grant them that. Uh, so, we've got the, the GW, which is giving extra protection to the queen. I've got the heel onto the, uh, the queen and the GW. But the bowlers, getting those bowlers in the core is just a nightmare. So, check, I'm going to pop down another one, and it's just going to target that dark barracks on the left there it's like I'm thinking this, I've really got to get them in now because um, otherwise my, my, my royals are going to well my, my queen is just going to um, die basically and she does do so here am I thinking right okay if I can get one star I'll be happy with this but check those uh, archers that came out of the uh, the clan castle there so there's there's some very, very, very lucky archers. So I've got my uh, Valts coming out to the core. In, in the clan castle, it you know, it's really up to you what, you want, what heavy ground you, you store. I mean, I, I, I would take Valks. I would take Valks, a golem, or bowlers in the clan castle, really. Um, that, that would be fine by me. Um, so we got the we got the town hall. So now we've got one star. We've got the town hall on, what, 5%, 8%? And I've got one archer just there. And that one archer is just chipping away just out of range of any of their defences. So I'm thinking, gosh, this is going to be another 70, 80%. I might as well go for the high percentage so I can get the full loot bonus, which is two and a, uh, 250,000 of each. And I think 1,600 Dark Elixir at this level, which is great. So over 75%. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, here we go. What a wonderful super archer. Anyway, so that's how you do the, uh, the bowler. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments. Please do let me know. Um, if, uh, if you've got any comments or if any suggestions, that'd be great. Thank you very much indeed. Have a wonderful day. You guys take care and bye for now.